Hello and welcome to this introduction of Awingu 4.0. Awingu 4.0 is the first major release in two years for Awingu. But if we look back at the history, uh, Awingu was first introduced in September 2013. Already then, the idea and the philosophy of Awingu was to have a fully browser-based workspace solution that was simple to use and non-intrusive to set up. The vision of Awingu is to offer a solution that excels in simplicity by offering a best-in-class user experience for both end-users and administrators. And this is reinforced by a very simple architecture that is uh, non-intrusive and very simple to set up. Awingu is also a workspace aggregator. We aggregate different streams of applications and different types of applications. And this is something that this release is going to extend further. We also have, from day one, a very unique combination of both applications and files, and this is something that we're going to extend further. And extending this further also means that Awingu is a turnkey solution. It is the combination of applications and files, but it's adding security components on top of this, such as a one-time password or SSL encryption. And finally, we want to enable our customers and partners to have a GDPR and IT security solution uh, that enables them in terms of compliancy and reinforces them in terms of security. Before we zoom in into the details of a Wingo 4.0, let's have a quick look at the architecture. Not to go through all the details, but just the high level picture. As you see, a Wingo has a very simple architecture model. It's a gateway-alike model that basically puts a Wingu as a virtual appliance on top of your existing backend environment. In that way, it's very little intrusive. And it also means that doing a setup of a Wingu can go pretty rapidly. The keywords of the architecture really are non-intrusive, simple to set up, virtual appliance-based, and can be deployed on your cloud of choice, which means that you always have the control of where it is deployed. If we look at the features of a Wingu, then already today a Wingu is far beyond the one trick pony, covering both aggregation, uh, security and auditing features, collaboration features, etc. In this release, in a Wingu 4.0, we're going to extend this further. We're going to add more components in the aggregation layer and we're going to upgrade and uh, improve a lot of the other functionalities in other areas. Now let's have a look at the details. The new features and improvements of a Wingo 4.0 can be grouped into three categories. First of all, user experience. Here we're adding a whole new way of navigating with, within the Wingo workspace. Secondly, we're improving the smart card functionality drastically. And finally, we're adding a notion of in-app notifications, which is actually pretty cool. Second category is aggregation. Yes, we are also a workspace aggregator and we are extending this far beyond what we used to have in our previous releases. We're expanding it with internal web applications through the Wingo reverse proxy, but we're also, for example, adding still in preview mode Linux applications. Finally, at the dawn of GDPR, we're adding a whole lot of capabilities that will really reinforce and enable our customers to become GDPR compliant. One of the major changes of this release is the completely revisited navigation of the Wingo workspace. This is a result of many user experience interviews we conducted with both existing as new Awingo users. The new navigation is much more intuitive and allows power users to quickly switch between applications with a single click. The new navigation bar can be collapsed or even completely hidden, allowing you to use the full potential of your screen estate. As before, you can customize your existing workspace with your own colors or logo. Before we have a look at our new navigation in this release, let's have a look to the previous release. We have the main navigation on top with our three main sections, workspace, files and applications. And we have the active sessions allowing you to switch between streamed applications. If I want to switch from one streamed application to another, I have to open the polygon, go back to active sessions and select the application session I want to navigate to. Now let's have a look at the new interface. The main navigation has switched to the left hand side with the navigation bar. We still have our three main sections, workspace, 
files and applications. The navigation bar is collapsible or can even completely be hidden. Next to the main sections, also all active streamed application sessions are available in the navigation bar. This allows you to easily switch between active application sessions. So one of the major improvements in Awingu 4.0 is the enhanced smart card support. In previous releases we were limited to browsers which supported um, Java applets. As of Awingu 4.0 we support again every browser and every operating system. Uh, let me demonstrate how it works. So for the smart card, um, let me demonstrate it with my uh, Belgium EID card. We have a, a published applications to read out the Belgium EID card. When I started the first time, you will notice that I get a warning message saying that uh, the remote application helper is not yet installed. This is actually a very small agent, only needed for um, smart card, that will allow you to uh, get a smart card working on any operating system in any browser. So as you can see, I just clicked on the uh, on the download link and I have the option to install it. I'm currently doing this on a Windows PC, so just let me download the Windows executable and install it. It's a very simple installer, so... So the installer itself, it's a very simple next, next finish install, so it's installing the agent right now. And it will now automatically start the uh, remote application helper. So now the uh, remote application helper is installed. It's this little uh, uh, application. As you can see, there is not that many things you can uh, configure. So on the moment it's installed, the next time you start the uh, application with smart card, it will automatically connect to the, to the smart card through the agent and it will open with smart card uh, visible in the application. So as you can see, I have a card reader, it's the, my smart card and it's actually reading now my EID. So one of the features our customers requested and which we have implemented for Zero is notifications. Let me explain it with an example. You are, for example, working in a Word document and you have Outlook open. You get a new mail, but because you're working in that Word document, you don't get the notification that you got a new mail. Well, this is something we have uh, implemented in Awingu 4.0, the possibility to receive notifications from applications which are not uh, open at this uh, moment. Uh, we not only support things like uh, mail pop-ups, uh, but also, for example, if there is a, a new window in your application, or for example, if your application makes sense, this will be uh, notified via the sidebar of Awingu. So to demonstrate the Awingu notifications, I have uh, Outlook open and I have um, Word open. I'm actually working in uh, Word as we speak. So I'm, uh, I'm, I'm typing and you notice that I just got a warning saying that there is a new mail in my uh, mailbox. So there is the, the text message and the red uh, sign next to the icon. So if I go to my, uh, to my uh, mail, as you can see, I have one new mail which uh, just came in. Next to your public web applications, Awingu allows you to aggregate your internal web applications as well, like your intranet. Awingu will reverse proxy these applications and secure them by applying Awingu's internal authentication and authorization on top. This is an alternative way to access these applications using browser in browser without requiring an RDP client access license. Configuring a reversed proxied web application is the same as configuring a web application. The only thing you need to do additionally is enabling the reverse proxy, specifying a source host header and specifying a destination host header. In this example, we reverse proxied our internal SharePoint and this is the result. Security and compliance are a first class citizen at a window. Now, tenant administrators have full access to the audit logs and insights of their tenants. We also extended the existing audit logs with all file operations and configuration changes. We also respect the user's right to be informed. 
Users should explicitly accept our privacy policy the first time they log in. Currently, I'm logged in as a tenant administrator. From now on, I can see all insights of my tenants. I can see who's online, which applications have been used, and who accessed the system. From this release on, we also provide an overview of all file operations. In the system settings, it is now possible to see an overview of all changes in the configuration. In this example, I can see that my colleague Steven changed the primary color of the domain. When the user launches an application that is recorded, he will be informed that the application will be recorded. If he denies, the application won't start. If he accepts, the application will be started as normal. Thank you for joining us in this Awingu 4.0 introduction. If you want to give it a try, it's very easy. Just go to awingu.com slash try.